Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's the day where we're going to go over our Pick'em Challenge votes and picks for APAC and the North America regions. Now, these votes have to be in at the time of this recording in three days and 17 hours. You should be seeing this video in about two hours. So you have a little more than three days to get your vote in. So don't forget to get them in because once the day passes, your uh, coupons won't be useful for that region anymore. Now we're still gonna have Asia and Europe to make Pick'em Challenge votes on and that won't happen for another week or two when they play their matches. So today is just for APAC and Americas. So let's go ahead and jump in. All right, so the Pick'em Challenge, just a very brief and quick overview for those who don't know, is PUBG's eSports mode. And this is where a lot of their competitive teams face off to see who is the best. Now they separate them in regions and in those regions, you have different voting options to see uh, if you can guess correctly which team is going to be victorious. Now, in reward for guessing correctly, you're going to get eSport points. These eSport points are then used in the eSport point shop. They can be redeemed for a number of cool skins like the new PCS6 butt pan here for 125,000 EP. The uh, bowl cut. Um, oh, where is it at? There we go. The new bowl cut. The M4, which is one of my favorite M4s, the PCS6 M4. Then we have the PCS6 motorbike, which I love the look of this one. Looks really, really cool. Love that one. Then they have the little makeup. And then, of course, a nickname change. That's where you can change your in-game name, uh, you know, for free because you just use the EP. So that's what you're, you're guessing for. That's what you're playing for. And in order to place your votes, you have to have voting coupons here. Uh, my head's kind of blocking it. Let me move this over just a head. You have to have voting coupons. Now, the voting coupons can only be gained by watching PUBG live streams. <clears throat> the official PUBG esports live streams where they sometimes give out voting coupons. Or you can buy the skins in the game. So you go to the store, go to view items, and then go to new... And uh, where are we at here? Here you go. The PCS6 Mega Bundle, the Weapons Bundle, the Clothing Bundle, the Gear Bundle, the Emotes, or the Individual Weapons. Any of these purchases are going to include the uh, voting coupons with them. More things that you buy, the more coupons you get, the more coupons you get, the more votes you have, the more votes you have, the better chances you have of guessing correctly for the Pick'em Challenge. All right, so that should be a, a pretty quick and clear overview. So today we're going to be voted on APAC and North America. These uh, regions have played their week one matches and they will be playing their week two matches next week. So that's going to be April 15th through the 17th. They played those matches next week. 22nd through the 24th. They're going to play their next set of matches. Now, this is why this is really important. Today's picks, I am basing off of my thoughts and the team's stats after playing week one. If you've been playing PUBG for any amount of time or you watch competitive, you know that crazy things can happen from week one to week two. One team that's dominating week one can have a two back-to-back -back terrible games in week two and just fall completely off the map and vice versa. A team that was in the, the pits in week one can get great circle rotations and dominate week two and all of a sudden they're a top contender so just keep that in mind i'm basing my votes my thoughts on uh just watching some of the gameplay seeing how the teams have been playing and then of course looking at all the stats uh pubg has all their stats on the website and uh basically just kind of drill them down to look at kills match points placement points average placement how are they placing first, second, third? Are they consistent? All, all that kind of stuff I just I try to look at to give a best guess around which teams I think are going to win. So with that out the way, here are my votes. We'll start in the APAC region, okay? So APAC region, and I'm going to give you my votes in order. So if you have a limited number of voting coupons, you're going to want to vote on the teams that I say first, okay? So we'll start with APAC. Uh, and I guess I should preface this by saying APAC is probably the region you want to vote for if you have a very limited number of coupons. So APAC, we have 
in this order day trade gaming i would vote them in first place uh they are here and you can see you see how these numbers on the uh, bottom of the team names this is how many people have voted for each individual team so far a lot of teams have voted for a lot of people have voted for made in thailand they are not in the top six after week one they are not even in top six after week one but there have been a lot of people who have just voted for them for for whatever reason that's why i always recommend don't vote until they play their first week matches and then i make this video uh, because we can then see how the teams have performed on the first week and get a, a better idea of how they might perform in week two and then in the finals, of course. All right, so Day Trade Gaming, is uh, I would vote them first. Unicorn, I would vote them second. Uh, Therathon, I would vote them third. Cerberus, I would vote fourth. Bliss, I would vote fifth, but this is kind of a, put an asterisk here on Team Bliss because they, yeah, they only have 61 kills, but they have 105 points, which is only two points behind Cerberus, but they have two chicken dinners. Team Bliss has two chicken dinners and uh, Cerberus doesn't even have any. Therathon only has two and Unicorn only has three. So chicken dinners mean a lot in PUBG for sure. So them already having two in the bag could uh, could be a telling sign of you know how they might want to perform in week two. So keep that in mind. Uh, then BN, Bao Nam United, uh, I would vote them if you had an extra, like a six coupon. Uh, they have one win, 80 kills, and 102 points. So not too far behind the teams previously mentioned. All right, uh, Americas. Now for Americas, of course, being North America, I got to represent my boys out there sonics doing the dang thing and you can see 33,993 other uh grouchy people also wanted to support sonic so in this order i would vote for north america teams sonics yahoo e united for for third place with an asterisk here bing bang boom in fourth place or it's okay if you voted them in third place Bing Bang Boom. I mean, so if you're in my opinion, E United and Bing Bang Boom, these two teams here kind of swap back and forth because E United does have two chicken dinners and 69 nice kills for 116 points, but Bing Bang Boom has zero wins but 80 kills. So 11 more kills in E United and 108 points. So not too far behind. And, you know, a lot of times teams that frag out the best who can get the most kills usually will end up at least getting, maybe not winning the game, but getting to late game, getting good placement points and getting good kill points. So keep that in mind. Uh, excuse me, I've been sneezing. Sorry for a little sniffly. So I'll, I'll, I'll run, run through those again because I know I kind of got off track. Sonics, Yahoo, E United, Bing Bang Boom, Gas Cans, and then Cresce. And I was kind of uh, sad to see STK wasn't wasn't super high in the running. They weren't even in the top six for North America. Um, so hopefully they turn it around for week two because they usually put on a good show. All right, uh, so that so that's it. That's votes for Americas and APAC. That's votes for Americas and APAC. Now let's go to the free voting, the team face-off. Now team face-off is going to be for APAC and North America this week. And then, uh, in, a, in what next week, April 25th. Yeah. Next week will be Asia and Europe. This voting is a bit simpler. It's quite, it's quite simply, uh, just comparing these two teams to each other. Which of the two teams do you think is going to have a higher overall rank at the end of the tournament? So attack all around and Cerberus. When they get to the finals, the end of the tournament, who's going to have the higher overall rank? Not who is going to win the tournament. Who is just going to place higher? So I said Cerberus is going to place higher here. They are currently fourth place and attack uh, all around is in 10th place. Okay. So that's kind of how I did my thought process for these picks. So you can just copy paste them if you trust me blindly. Uh, and of course, if you lose all of your esport points and don't win anything, uh, GG. Don't, uh, don't sue me. All right. So, uh, here we go. We got a Cerberus and then I voted B in 
Then I voted Archangel. Then I voted Therathon 5 uh, for the APAC teams. For America, I voted Yahoo. Then I voted Sonics. Then I voted STK. And then here, I, I kind of went a sleeper pick, Crisha. But 22 Esports has actually done better so far. Like overall, they, are, they have a higher rank. But Crochet has those two wins. And I don't know, something about something about a team that can get two wins in the first week. It's I don't know if you've ever played competitive. I've played like amateur competitive, where I've, you know, we've done like the what is it, the, the PGC or whatever it is, like the amateur qualifying. And that's playing against other amateur teams. And it's difficult. Like, I mean, to get a win, to get one win is is hard. To get two? Watch out. That's all I'm saying is watch out. So I, I think you're okay voting, voting either or there. And then, of course, uh, these points that we win, uh, we'll get them. I think it says like April 26 or something. It says it somewhere in here. Uh, reward. Oh, reward a claim period, May 10th through May 25th. So you won't see any of these points in your East Points point shop until May 10th. Okay. All right. So that's, uh, that's it for the Pick'em Challenge video for today. Uh, expect another pick'em challenge video before May 6th. So after after May 1st, it's gonna be May. Uh, so that's what about, about two weeks? We have one week. Yeah, about two weeks from now, we'll do another video going over Asia and Europe votes because they will have played their week one matches as well. So the same concept will apply to those two regions and see if we can't earn y'all. Uh, some esport points to get some sick skins. All right, what else? Um, oh, my water heater should be fixed. Uh, hopefully in a couple of days. The tech came out today, said the problem was what I thought it was. They got to order the part. Um, so I'm still waiting to see how long it's going to be. Uh, hopefully we don't have to take too many more cold showers because my pregnant wife is not happy. Um, we also have not done our video yet on the uh, contraband progressive skin. I'm going to do a whole video. Uh, obviously spending a lot of G coin that PUBG gives me on this, but I'm also going to show PUBG and the community why, how I think they could really make this contraband hideout system way more fair, way more balanced, and just way more fun for the player. So that video comes out soon. Uh, so that's all I got for you guys today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up, share it with a buddy. And of course, get subscribed if you're new to the channel. We have a bunch more PUBG content coming your way and a bunch of guides already out. We have an ultimate PUBG guides playlist. If you guys don't know, uh, I have a playlist set for a gameplay. I have a playlist set for um, update like patch notes. And then I have a playlist set for ultimate PUBG guides. I have a bunch of playlists here, don't I? Uh, here we go. Ultimate PUBG guide. So if you're looking to get good at PUBG, you can come to this playlist and look for all of these videos. There's like 17 or 18 of them, and I'm, I'm adding more each month. There's videos on how to loot faster, how to pick up weapons faster, um, all the secret areas and all of the maps, how to use gliders, um, how to uh, heal better, how to have better sound, video settings, best attachments for your guns. Like, I mean, there's all kinds of stuff in there. So go check it out. And uh, if you need anything that's not in there, let me know in the comments below. All right, guys, y'all have a great day. And thank you again for watching. Take care. Peace.